Good morning, happy Sunday. It is 10.30 and I had yoga this morning at 8.15 that I accidentally slept through. So I didn't go. I woke up like disappointed that I didn't go because obviously I wanted to go. Um, and I just like slept through it. I stayed up really late last night. I stayed up until like 2 a.m. watching Tiger King, actually. Um, so I slept through yoga and I was like, okay, I'll look for like later yoga classes. There was a later yoga class at like 10, but it was like a format that I didn't want to do. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do that. And then I was like, you know what? I haven't done like solid core in a while. So I looked up the solid core that's closest to me, which is in Bryn Mawr on the main line. So there was one at 1125, but it was like arms and abs. And it said for intermediate to advanced. And I was like, I don't think that's me. So then the second closest one is only two miles like farther away than Bryn Mawr from me. And it's in Delaware. So I booked it for 11.25 and it's literally like a 20 minute drive. So I'm going to Delaware, but I'm gonna leave here like in like 15, 20 minutes. But I'm just gonna like tidy up in the meantime. I just feel like the apartment looks like a mess. I just cleaned it like a couple days ago. So it's not like dirty, like it's clean, but I just need to like tidy it up because it just looks like not tidy oh another thing is i spent like 30 minutes this morning looking for the breville i don't know if that's how i say it like the touchscreen barista espresso maker it's like it's back ordered everywhere and it's not available in any stores and i am such an instant gratification kind of girl that I really want to like go to a store today and buy it. But I can't. I don't know if I need it or not. I mean, of course I don't need a $900 espresso maker, but I should probably make a cup of coffee before I go because I have time after I tidy up, of course. Um, and then yeah, what else are we doing today? I just, I want to do my laundry today, put away, wash, put away, and what else? It's really, I don't have like anything to do, so so I guess my adventure is going to Delaware. got one of these tote bags, the Mana, Montserrat, 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 whatever. Coffee and bagels and newspapers. I just finished, whoop whoop. I almost didn't go in. We got all the way here. And then as soon as I got here, I was like, I don't wanna do it. But I did it and it went by. I look like I'm not wearing a top, I am. It's just like a skin color top, I guess. Class was really great. I can't believe we're in Delaware. <laughs> anyway, I'm super glad that I did the class and I, I don't know, I just think it's so funny that we're in Delaware. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it just is. I heard a statistic yesterday that it's much easier to be dehydrated in the winter than it is in the summer. Okay, I got scrambled eggs with cheese, home fries, toast, and then there's um, sausage. Oh, and I got a bowl of oats because I'm starving and an iced latte. I don't, it doesn't look like I really ate a lot, but I'm so full. So someone put paper towels in the men's toilet and like a guy went up to go tell the front and like 20 minutes later the employees come back to like check on the toilet and as they start coming back we're by the way we're sitting at a table that's like right by the men's bathroom so when the employees go back then the toilet starts overflowing into the restaurant and there's like toilet water <laughs> all around us 
us. And we're like we're having to hold up our feet as we're like eating our eggs in this literal toilet water. And as I was like eating, I was like, thank God we're not like complainers and we're not like people that would be like, this is disgusting, I demand a free meal. Can you imagine? I'm sure they would have given it to us though if I asked. And like, that was really gross to eat around toilet water. They probably would have given us a free meal. But I didn't care. So anyway, that was our brunch with the toilet water. Look how pretty this is. It's sage and, no it's not sage. It's eucalyptus and uh, lavender. I've not washed my hair in so long. So I really need to do that today in the shower. Like I don't know how people wash their hair every single day. I give them a lot of props because it could never be me. Now I know wrapping your hair in a towel is like not the best for your hair, but whenever I wrap it in like a hair wrap after the shower, it just is soaking wet. And I hate the feeling of soaking wet hair on me, but I'm not gonna blow dry right now because I'm not leaving the house. If I were to leave the house, I would blow dry it because it's too cold to leave with wet hair. You know, that, like that saying like, oh, leave the house with wet hair and you'll get a cold. I don't know if I believe that, but I don't want to test it out today. But I do know that my hair would freeze and then snap. So what I use in my hair is the It's a 10 and then Olaplex 6 and 7, both of which I'm on my last drops of, Olaplex 6 and 7. So I either need to get a friend to run to a store for me or just like Amazon them, I guess. The urge to dye my hair brown is so strong i literally think about it all the time like i want it a little darker like i just put some um dimension and like low lights in my hair when i got my hair done a couple weeks ago it was like right before the marathon i got my hair done so i always say marathon but i mean half the urge to dye it just totally brown is so strong but i know that comes summertime I'm gonna want it blonde. And my hair is really healthy, blonde, so I don't wanna mess that up. Anyway, if I was to blow dry my hair, and if I leave and I do blow dry it, um, I love the Shuamora Ultimate Reset Extreme Repair Duo Serum. Very damaged hair, it says. I don't think I have very damaged hair. But this stuff rocks. It makes your hair feel so soft. Okay, so my shower's done. Now I have to do my laundry. I hate doing laundry. I really don't feel like it, but I absolutely need to do my laundry. Why don't I just do it later? Okay, I'm gonna do it later. Everyone on Instagram is telling me to get um, the expensive coffee machine. Oh, I hate a wet head of hair. I have to show you something. See, it's so hard because the urge is there, but it's so much easier to dye your hair brown than it is to go back to blonde. And you know what I think? Like, am I just blonde? Because, well, obviously I like it but am I just blonde and still blonde because it's what I'm used to? Or is it because it's my best hair color? Or am I afraid to go brown in case that is not my best hair color and then you know, you're know you stuck with it and then you can't really go back to blonde? But what if it is my best hair color and I'm missing out on it because I'm afraid? The urge is so incredibly strong. And I saw a picture today that made it even stronger um, Jordan Beckham, first of all, world's like prettiest girl ever. 
hair by Chrissy. So hard to not say crispy because that's just what I see everywhere. Um, hair by Chrissy did her hair and I try not to like go off of Chrissy's hair because she just like literally fries people hair off for the transformation and I'm like all about hair health. So anyway, let me show you the picture I'm talking. A couple of things to talk about here. Number one, obviously she's like one of the most beautiful people ever. So I wouldn't look like that if I dyed my hair, okay? But what I am getting at is that she has dark hair with light eyes, which I would have, because I have blue eyes. And I think like dark hair with blue eyes is so powerful, because not everyone has it, but I would. I literally have this debate like, I've had this debate at least once a week with myself for the last, like, three years. <sighs> and then, like, will the summer come around and I want to be blonde, but I can't be blonde because I'll fry off my hair going back to blonde. It's really tricky. And I know if I do go brunette, I'm going to look back on videos of my life when I was blonde and get all sad and be like, oh my god, I was so pretty. But here's what I always like go back to. Like when I was super, super blonde and I had like long extensions in and like I was like living out like a Barbie dream moment, I still wanted my hair dark then too. And I was like, I like the blonde, but I just don't feel like it's my color. Like I just don't feel connected to it because I just didn't think I looked like myself. I thought I looked like a version of myself that was trying to look like someone I wasn't. And like I love my hair color now because it's like darker blonde and I think that looks really good. I'm just the most indecisive bitch ever. But anyway, like this looks kind of dark, don't you think? And I think it looks pretty good. I do know that it's 6.30 and I'm still not hungry. So yeah, I don't have like anything else to do. Um, I offered to go to my parents for dinner tonight my mom told me she had plans interesting so i'm going to get honey grow um because now i'm hungry it's 7 15 so i'm going to get it and i was ordering it and i don't know why but like ordering food delivery in an apartment complex is so much more stressful than it was in my condo because like my condo I, it was like a front door so I had like a house pretty much but with this like it's in like a complex so it's always just like a hassle to like get the food and <clears throat> with like DoorDash it literally is like almost $50 to get Honey Grow delivered but to go pick it up it was 26 so I literally saved almost like 25 bucks just by driving to go pick it up. And I'm also pretty bored to be honest, so I don't mind driving to go pick it up. It gives me some time to just like drive, you know? Um, <clears throat> this car is trying to pass me. Am I going slow? I guess I kind of am. Sunday night, which means tomorrow morning is Monday. And this week my goal is to be more productive during the days and that starts with a good routine in the morning so I'm going to wake up and work out every day this week that's my goal because I have not been doing it lately but I'm sure when we get back to the apartment and are done eating we'll go over like a morning routine and I'll obviously document it, but I really want to get a good morning routine down so that by 2022, I'm ready. And it's already a habit. Because I just totally have fallen off the bandwagon of my morning routine. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. This whole vlog has literally just been me talking to the camera. That must be really boring. I'm really sorry, but when I vlog every day, realize that not every day is exciting. Yeah, 
Okay, so I just um, planned out my week and it felt really good to do that because like I said in a couple videos ago, I just feel like I haven't had like much to do during the day. So I really planned out my week so that every day I would have something productive and um, just like good for me to do. So um, let me show you my day for tomorrow. So this is the self-care planner that I'm currently using. So I wrote down obviously the date, circle the time. Um, I'm gonna fill this stuff in tomorrow, what I'm grateful for and then the top goal but I crossed out to make it like a daily venture. And then this is my morning routine of what I'm going to do tomorrow. This is all of the work that I need to do from the time that I need to work. So from 9 to 2 tomorrow. Um, and then this is, you know, I'm teaching tomorrow night. So I'm going to the studio. So this is everything I'm doing tomorrow at the studio. Um, what I'm doing at night. And then the exercise, which I'm going to go in right now and like plan out what I'm going to do tomorrow morning when I exercise at 6.30. And then over here is just my to-do list. I think I can show all of this. Yeah. So this is just my to-do list for tomorrow. And then this like self-care box I checked out because this is where I'm going to write down what books I'm reading, what podcasts I'm listening to, and what music. Um, tracking my water. And then the meals that I'm going to do for tomorrow. Um, I'm not doing anything crazy tomorrow because I didn't get groceries um, today and I'm going to Instacart groceries on Tuesday. So tomorrow I'm just like trying to finish up everything that's in the fridge. So like a smoothie, random meal, and then um, I have like a bunch of frozen soups that I'll have for dinner tomorrow night. Um, but then I did plan out like meals for the rest of the week. It's like Tuesday, it's a salmon grain bowl, Wednesday, chicken stir fry, and then Thursday is going to be a taco night. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to this week. But that is where I'm going to end the vlog. It is 11.10 and I still need to edit this and get this up. So, um, and I'm really tired. So I'm going to... I'm going to do this really quick and then um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and goodbye.